Well, Solace, part two of the Earl Sweatshirt Super Friday that I'm participating in. Just got done recording my reaction to I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside with a couple music videos included. Uh, if you want to watch that first to kind of go in order, because I'm doing the videos in order, or if you just want to watch this, I guess that's my matter. It's kind of in my feels on that one. Uh, I'll leave that to that video. If you're, if you're curious, you can watch it pretty pretty quick. It's in the beginning there. Cool experience. I Honestly, I really liked I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. It helped me over the last 90 minutes kind of come out of a little bit of a hole that I was in, which is cool, you know? Moving to Solace, it is the Dar Cuness uh, page that I'm going to listen to this on. So I have the YouTube up over here on the right side of the screen. You can't see it. Got the lyrics for Solace here, produced by a random black dude who is Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> I do like, though, you get to the bottom. During an interview with NPR Music, he mentioned a project that he had made around June, as he mentioned in this tweet. Everybody has something about music needs to shut the fuck up. I've been sitting on a completely finished album since June. Just shut up and wait. <laughs> I like that energy. Just shut up and wait. <laughs> Just shut up and wait. Solace is dedicated to his mom, who he's had a strained relationship with. And he says, this project is music for when I hit the bottom and found something. It's a 10-minute song. Uh, looks like it's got multiple parts here. So I, I think my idea, you know, there's not a lot of lyrics, which is kind of nice in each part. So I think what I'll do is I'll play through, I'll pause between the parts. I'll let it play through each part and then pause. If there's transitions, I'll back it up and try and catch that transition, uh, trying to improve on that after thoroughly stepping all over the transitions on uh, heroes and villains. But let's drop in. Here's Solace by Earl Sweatshirt, uh, part one. Oh, weird. That's these lyrics here. I've been here before. And this is after I don't like shit, I don't go outside, which was very dark, moody. Very trippy. Late for everything, my face to the cement. That's how I always seen it. I spent days faded in the need. You can see it in my face. I ain't been eating, I'm just wasting away. Look like the way that River Phoenix went gon' end up my fate. I ain't been in prison, but the feelings the same. Oh, it's just sentiment. Winning if the pen hit the page as a late. I've been watching every bit of my space. One foot stuck in a tar pit of my ways. Okay, I think that's part one. I'll pause real quick. You know, the production there is very funky, right? But it kind of makes sense, especially when you get to this line of trying to make some sense of all this shit in my brain. So keeping the idea of I've been here before, which is a reference back to some of these dark, moody places. You can see in my face I've not been eating. I'm just wasting away. How did River Phoenix go? I forgot. Uh, he became famous at a young age and dabbled in drug abuse. Uh, Phoenix dies at age 23 from drug-induced heart failure. Okay. You know, I've not been to prison, but the feeling's the same. Shared sentiment when and if the pen hits the page. So just the production there, clunky. I, I mean, I, I, I like it in the terms of what its, its function is with the song, right? I'm not going to go fucking dance into it. But, <laughs> you know, the, the feel of just unsorted Things are banging around. It, it's just unsettled. It's not clean, you know, so it, it's cool. Let's roll into part two. And here it kind of cleans up a little bit, which is interesting. So maybe he is putting pen to page and his thoughts are able to sort. Neat, pretty sound right here. Calming. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. It's 
It's almost like waking up. But like, someone like, you know, waking up afraid type of a thing. It's me and my nibbling conscience. Nigga, I'm fixing to give up. Wow. I've been alone for the longest. It's trouble the way that we jog and nothing gonna save us to stop. It's me and my nibbling conscience. Nigga, I'm fixing to give up. I've been alone for the longest. Wow. Wow. Split. I ain't splitting no time soon. My brain splitting too. It's raining a bit. I hope it's a mind soon. My face in the sink. I'm seeing my mom soon. I faded. I stink. I stay in jail. Uh -uh. Wow. Wow. Sounds like it's getting us ready to kind of switch over a little bit, or maybe I'm in this instrumental here that's between part two and or three and four. Or I'm sorry, part three is probably the instrumental. Uh, I'll let me let me rewind this a slight bit before I forget. Part two is kind of fucking brilliant. At first, I was like, Jesus, it's so like I was gonna say dark, moody, but it's like. It's just so like emotional and raw, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> on the fucking album, he's talking about, you know, music that I found when I hit the bottom or something like that. Right. So that's the point. And he does a great job of capturing that, doesn't he? You know, having that chirping smoke detector is a great little touch. I wonder if it was even intentional or if he didn't even fucking notice, but it's a great touch because it. It really captures, I'm so, I'm so like lethargic and down and low energy that I won't even change the battery in my smoke detector. I'll just let it chirp, you know? And then with his like mumbling vocals and me and my nibbling conscience, what a great way to describe thoughts that are just slowly but constantly just eating at your brain, just eating and eating and eating. And not like a chomp that kills you. No, just, just slowly but surely your thoughts are eating you alive. My brain's split in two, it's raining a bit. I hope it's a monsoon, my face in the sink. I'm seeing my mom soon, I faded, I stink. Wow. And if it's like that the whole time, we'll be all right. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, man. Wow. Let's keep rolling. This is really, this is pretty fascinating, honestly. So is that the smoke detector going off? Which, if that's the case, now he's forced to get up to do something about it, right? I'm assuming this is part four. Super lo-fi sound. But a little bit more upbeat, which is interesting still lo-fi it's like hazy right maybe he's still maybe he's feeling a little better but he's still high as fuck That I needed the most Cause I feel defeated And not by nothing by myself My second thoughts My second And not by nothing by myself My hands I start to cry when I see them Cause they remind me of seeing it 
These the times that I needed the most Cause I feel defeated And not by nothing but myself My second thoughts My hectic process of thinking And all my doubts And I think I know knocking that sleep And he on the couch That's my brother Give me a boost When my confidence needed So I love him To tell the truth I got a problem with eating I be drugging But time waits for no man And death waits with cold hands I'm the youngest old man Let you know If your soul intact Let me know Jesus. We'll pause here before it rolls into the instrumental. We'll conclude with that. I know that his grandma has passed. I talked about that a little bit on the previous reaction to I don't like shit, I don't go outside. I know his his relationship with his mom is strained. So obviously he misses his grandma because he can't really talk to his mom right now. And so seeing her hands and his own, that's kind of a, a trippy thing. <clears throat> the times that I need her the most because I feel defeated, not by nothing by myself, my second thoughts, my second thoughts, my hectic process of thinking and all of my doubts. So his brain just won't shut up, won't shut up. And, you know, he touches on that being nibbled to death, right? It's me and my nibbling conscience. My nibbling conscience. I'm fixing to give up. I've been here. I've been alone for the longest. My brain's split in two. It's raining a bit. It's just his thoughts. His thoughts won't stop. That's hard. That's hard to deal with. And this is what I get frustrated with with people who talk about, you know, drug addicts and self-medication and all this other shit. I feel like those people, <laughs> they don't, their brain doesn't just run and run and run and run and run. And there's other ways, obviously, from aside from drugs and alcohol, what have you, there's other ways to work with that. But it's very challenging and it takes a long time to essentially meditate, kind of practice a meditative state to get the mind to just calm. It's hard to do. It takes a long time. I have gotten somewhat decent at it. There are still times when my brain just goes. And usually it's when you're trying to sleep, of course, right? And so I just, now I don't even, if I if I wake up, I, I wake up so early these days. Sometimes I'm waking up at like three in the morning. I'll lay in bed for 15, 20 minutes. And if I don't fall asleep, fine, fuck it. I just get up, I just get up, fine. Because I'd rather just start doing things than get stuck in this thing where my brain is just going and going and going and going. Because to me, it, I feel like, the more it goes and goes, the more that track reinforces itself. So I'm trying to break away from that. Sometimes I can calm. <laughs> but with all my time in the military and working nights, and stuff like, I just don't sleep that much anyway. Even if I'm tired, I'll wake up. That's how it, it's always been. His brother, I, I don't think it's his brother, but you know, he calls him his brother, Nack. He's out there, you know, gives him his confidence when he needs it, a little boost of confidence and stuff. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I'm tossing and turning. And the tell the truth, I miss my part in them. Tell the truth, you can't be loud when you're the wrongest. Oof, what a great line. Great line. Time waits for no man and death waits with cold hands. I'm the youngest old man that you know. If your soul's intact, let me know. Or else fucking stressing right now. I don't know about what. I can take some hints from I don't like shit, I don't go outside. You know, the fame and the fans and being hassled and harassed and all this other shit. But let's finish this out. Let's listen to the instrumental. Oh, wow. That was a sharp clap. It feels like, it sounds like somebody who feels exhausted, you know, just on the machine trying to find something to gain traction with, something for the brain to calm down to. I love the, the use of this lo-fi, distorted, muted sound, because even the music isn't alive to him. Now it's starting to come back though. I 
has a feeling of kind of maybe coming out of it a little bit. Maybe finding something in the music. Something to find joy or at least feel anything. That's it. <laughs> it just wraps up. Huh. Huh. Neat. Neat little project. I'm glad I'm doing Earl today. I'm in a mood. And so it's just, this is pairing really well with some of the shit I've been kind of just wrestling with the last couple of days. I mean, I'm fine overall. Uh, it's not sleeping well. Some things happening around me, not directly to me, not directly to my family or friends, but just people around me are having hard times. And it soaks in a little bit. Neat, neat project. You know what I like about it, especially the end, this just a simple, just kind of a simple little beat and how it kind of it kind of comes up in sound just a little bit. It doesn't become like, you know, this full flourish and this glorious transition into, you know, bold, bright, beautiful sound, but it just it's just enough. It just sounds like somebody who yeah, kind of you think about the concept of hitting the bottom. And then when you hit the bottom, what happens after that? Cuz if it's the true bottom, then what? You start to climb back up. In the end of this track, that little two-minute instrumental, that simple little beat, it's still muted, still distorted, but it just feels like, all right, let's, let's start climbing out, you know? Let's start climbing out of this hole. Cool shit. I wonder why it's not on streaming. How come we can't listen to this on streaming? I don't know. Let me know in the comments so I could, <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it is strange. Okay. There's Solace by Earl Sweatshirt. Interesting shit. Good shit. On to some rap songs. <laughs> <laughs>